Hey guys, today we're gonna to be doing a low and slow cook with some beautiful pork that was provided by Heritage Farms. We're gonna be cooking it on the char griller, acorn grill. Let's get started. If you've seen most of my videos, you've known that I've used the acorn quite a bit. It is my go-to grill. It is a Kamado style grill that's double insulated steel. So it's very light, it's very versatile. It has a locking mechanism here to make sure that all the air is secure in there. And it takes lump charcoal or briquette charcoal. You can put in here, you can do hot and fast, you can bake, you can do low and slow, really any kind of cooking. When using the char griller acorn, one of the most important things is airflow because that's what makes this cook so efficiently and so well. So what you always want to do before every cook, at least what I want to do, is I want to unlatch the ash pan down here and I want to empty out all the ash that I can from prior cooks. By disassembling both latches on each side of the ash pan, this helps you slide it out and you're able to empty the ash. Over time, the ash pan collects a lot of ash and this can disrupt the airflow. If you look back here, you see that there's even some ash that are stuck inside the vents here where the air comes in and goes throughout the Kamano and gives it that kind of convection oven look and that circulation of air. So we're gonna empty all this out and then we're gonna get start prepping on our pork butt. Nothing better than a clean, happy ash pan to make an airflow go great. So let's put it back on and let's get started. One of the cool things about barbecue is that it's always innovating and there's always new things coming around, accessories that are really gonna improve your cooking or just make grilling fun. Uh, one of those accessories I have is the new grill gun. The grill gun is something that was uh, invented to make sure that you can light your charcoals extremely quick. It's something that I love and uh, we're gonna use this today to light up that charcoal in the grill and uh, get it started. All you do, turn this on, Click it on, you're good to go. Now that the fire's been started, we are going to let it sit open like this for about 10 minutes while the coals start heating up and getting that kind of even heat going through. We're gonna place the heat deflector in. We also have another accessory we'll be using today by Barbecue. It is the Tipmaster Pro. Uh, it is a temperature controller designed specifically for the acorn, and that's gonna help us maintain our temperature throughout the entire cook today. been about 10 minutes and there's a nice beautiful even burn going on inside the char griller acorn here. Our next steps are to attach the heat deflector plate, put on the grate, close the lid, attach our temperature control system, set it at a temperature of 275. We're also going to throw in some smoking chunks in there as well to get that nice smoke flavor throughout this long cook. cook today we're going to be going about 275 for as long as it takes until the pork butt probes tender what's important though is when using a kamado style grill you want to make sure that your thermometer is calibrated properly the easy way to do this is just to boil some water get some chopsticks and put it above the water let the water hit it when it does it should be hitting the 100 degrees celsius mark right there then you know you have an accurate temperature my thermometer has been calibrated it is ready to go if you're normally doing a long cook like this, you're gonna have your damper barely open to bring it up to about 250. And the same on the top, you're just gonna have it slightly open. But today we're using the temperature controller, so we're gonna open this up just a little bit. We're gonna place the metal plate inside here, and it's gonna slide right in, slide it all the way over, and we're gonna close our damper. Now that we have our airflow hose hooked up to the bottom damper, we're gonna open up the grill, and we're gonna put our grate probe in there and that's going to help the temperature controller maintain 
the temperature of the dome itself. Now we just set the temperature by pushing it, hit barbecue. We're gonna set the temperature to 275 like I stated earlier. And then we hit start and the fan's gonna start blowing and we're gonna start seeing that temperature come out and even out as we prepare our pork butt. The next thing that we're gonna do is season our pork butt and we have this beautiful seasoned pork butt provided by Heritage Farms up in North Carolina. It's Cheshire pork. You can see such beautiful marbling throughout this beautiful pork butt. And one thing what we're gonna do is we're gonna season it. We're gonna put a binder on it. This is not something that a lot of people do, but the binder helps hold on that seasoning a little bit and gives it such an amazing crust when we're finished. The type of binder that I'm gonna be using today might be a little bit unconventional. We're gonna be using this Crown Maple Syrup Bourbon Barrel Aged. Uh, it is a really fine quality maple syrup and it may, you know, burn up because of the sugar just a little bit, but that's gonna provide such a beautiful, nice crust on the inside. After that, we're gonna be using some uh, Meat Church Honey Hog that's gonna just give this a nice, nice caramelization and uh, a great flavor as well. on the grill is at the right setting we're going to put on our port butt we're going to insert that probe inside of it just so that we can maintain that temperature and and kind of keep a log of it and then we're just going to let it sit while it cooks builds up a nice crust has a maillard reaction with all the fat kind of rendering inside it makes it nice and juicy where it's easy to pull apart we're going to have a beautiful dinner tonight put it inside of our cooler once we wrap it up in foil and we're gonna let it sit for another hour just to let it keep cooking kind of give itself a little bit of a steam bath and then we're gonna pull it and see what happens 